Okay guys, I just got out of my car, about to go into game exchange. And then I just, <laughs> just found this Nintendo DSi on the ground. Um, what, what, what do I do? What do I do with this? Is it mine? What is up internet, Retro here and welcome back to episode 39 of the $10 game collection challenge. We are on a journey to build a video game collection starting off with just $10 to prove that you can still game hunt in today's time and you can do it on a budget. Well guys, this past week was Christmas. I hope you guys had an incredible holiday. I hope you got some pretty sweet stuff for Christmas. Uh, in fact, that's the question of the video. What was your favorite gift that you got this year uh, for Christmas? I got just a couple gaming related items. It's always hard for people to buy me anything video game related because I have so much of it already, but I did get a couple things. The first one is this. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now, I've wanted this for a while. I just never pulled the trigger, and my beautiful wife picked this up for me, so I cannot wait to play through this. Also, my dad found this Sega Genesis in uh, our storage unit, or like back shed, or something like that. And this is actually my Sega Genesis from back in the day. And he was like, hey, I found this old Sega back in the shed. I was like, yep, that's mine. Thanks, Dad. So I got my old, my old Genesis, and then... Uh, my sister got me this hoodie. So if you know, you know, man. Earthbound, Mr. Saturn. Uh, Earthbound is my favorite game of all time, and she hooked it up with this hoodie. I love it. It is cozy, and it is amazing. But you guys tell me, what was your favorite gift that you got for Christmas? We got a great episode for you guys today, but before we get into it, if you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here is our update of the $10 game collection. I missed you guys. We missed last week. I think the first time we've missed in quite a while, uh, but it was Christmas. I wanted to put out a Christmas type video, but we are back to the $10 game collection. Uh, here's a small update. There's actually a walkway here now because I am starting to utilize this wall. So here are most of the disc-based games over here. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna buy a shelf, I believe, for this wall so we can have more space. That was not my uh, initial uh, intent. Over here in this nook area, I wanted to put up plastic shelves to put up figures and different like posters and stuff. But uh, things have changed as the game collection has grown. So that will help out tremendously. Uh, we left off with $225 in the game fund and we sold Farming Simulator. Only thing we sold, I think this sold for right around 19 bucks. So uh, this is now our grand total after eBay fees and PayPal fees, which is a decent amount of money. What's that? Roughly 240 bucks. Uh, and then also guys, last week was our um, big lot of games that we got for $100. And then in this uh, episode, at some point, we're going to clean things and test things. Uh, so make sure you stick around for that. We had a potential value of 370 uh, and we paid 100 but we weren't uh, completely sure if the consoles worked. So we're going to go through all of that stuff. But for now, we've got to go game hunt. Hopefully, we find some good stuff. It's been a little bit dry lately, but I'm hoping our luck is going to change. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this Goodwill, they always put their games up front and they just move them over here. Uh, and games are always $4.94 here, unfortunately. So these are unmarked, or they are marked uh, with the white tag, but they actually are $4.94. So that's a bummer because most of these are like right around the six to eight dollar mark. Um, like this one right there, SmackDown. This one is about an $8 game, so I just don't think I'm gonna pick that one up. But I am gonna get this one. Or no, I was gonna get this one, but it's too scratched. It's got some top scratches on there. I don't know if you can see that right down there. 
right, so I'm gonna pass on that one. Uh, I thought about getting Twisted Metal. I'm still thinking on that. But this one I'm definitely gonna get. Guys, this game is amazing. Uh, we're gonna land Shake It. Shake the Wii Remote for fun and profit in Wario Land Shake It! I think we bought this from GameStop not too long ago, but um, great game. Uh, we already have it, but we'll flip that one. And then this one is a sleeper. Michael Jackson, The Experience. This one can sell decently, uh, anywhere from like 12 to 18, sometimes a little higher than that. So we'll get that one. I think I'm gonna pick up this WrestleMania 21 game, Become a Legend, as long as it's in decent shape. And there is, again, just some of those games that are right, a, right around like the eight to $10 mark. Uh, maybe SmackDown, even though we already have, I think, two of these. I might get this one on PS2, but I'll look up that one. But for now, that's what we were looking at. I wish these were $2, man. I would be picking up way more of these. Here's one I know we don't have. I'll look up this one too, but that is it for now. All right, guys, we're back at another Goodwill and it's just dismal. I don't know what to say. This is just where we are at this week. Just, just junk. Complete junk. I don't care about any of these games, but I'm at the Goodwill again that has really good VHS, and this is exactly why I still come here. Look at some of these. Here is Alvin the Chipmunk's Easter Chipmunk. Sun is destroying things per usual. So we get that one. Here is uh, DuckTales Space Invaders. These are just gems, man. Uh, wow, look at that. I love the graphics on that, the artwork. Love that. And then look at this one. Robo Monk. Some kind of RoboCop Robo looking thing. <laughs> yes, right. I am obsessed with this. So no games, unfortunately, but four decent movies and I'm still going through all of these. There's just so much goodness here in terms of VHS. So uh, definitely bummed that there's no games, but at least there's a bright side on in all of this. So I'm gonna keep looking. Also, oh guys, what's more nostalgic than these old VHS holders? Do you guys remember these? And you put your VHS in there and you close it up, protect them from the dust. I need these, man. Well, I did find something video game related. A huge Zelda shield. It's a little scratched up, but it's only like $1.50. Should I get this? I don't think I'm going to, but I want to know from you guys. Would you guys pick this up for $1.50? Would it go good on a shelf? I don't have any space for it, so I'm going to pass, but pretty cool. All right, guys, we found something else. So this is by far one of the creepiest toys ever made. I'm pretty sure it's made by Coleco and it's the couch potato. You pick them, you pack each one in a tater sack and you ship them out. The couch potato, the complete vegetable, each sold separately new from Coleco. Plant one next to someone you love. These things are friggin' psycho. Like why in the world would a kid want this back in the day? How did they come up with this idea? Why was this an idea? and even a thing, but good lord, that thing is hideous and scary. So it has been a couple days since I have seen any video games at Goodwill at all. Um, but they do have this. Now, I don't need this because I already have an FC Twin and I need to sell it. I'm just showing you this because I've never seen an FC Twin at Goodwill before. $9, comes with both controllers. Uh, these are good to have if you're not like, you know, like you don't have to have the original console. These these still work okay. Uh, this plays Super Nintendo and NES. So it's good to have, you know, uh, if you're just wanting to play games quick, but there is no power adapter either with it. And I think they sell for maybe, maybe $20. They don't sell for much at all, but I have never seen an FC Twin at Goodwill before. So kind of cool to see. Wish we were seeing video games, but unfortunately we are not. Okay, so you guys will see this footage twice, but I am at a flea market right now, uh, and I'm filming for a retro hunting episode, and 
There are some games down here at a great price. So these are all $275 each. Uh, here is Toy Story 3. I'm gonna get that one. And here are two Call of Duty Black Ops 2s for $275. So again, you guys know we're trading these in for around 10 or 11 at uh, GameStop. Same thing for Left 4 Dead 2. Last time I looked, it was right around 10 bucks. So I'm gonna pick that up, skip that. We already have we already have Iron Man 2, I'm, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. I think we have Iron Man 1. I'll probably pick that up as well. And then there are some other games in here too, but uh, nothing, I don't think anything that we need right now. So for now, I'm just gonna get uh, these down here. And again, you'll see this in a retro hunting episode as well, but um, definitely wanted to get these for the $10 game collection. Okay guys, I just got out of my car, about to go into game exchange. And then I just, <laughs> just found this Nintendo DSi on the ground. Um, okay, what, what, what do I do? What do I do with this? Is it mine? Do I bring it in? I feel, I feel like I'm supposed to bring it inside. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna bring it inside. I think most people would take this, but I'm gonna bring it inside. Thank you. How are you? Well, I need to figure out what the right thing to do is. I just went outside and this is on the ground. Oh, that was from earlier. A dude um, tried to bring that in to see if it would work and it doesn't work. Okay. So I guess he took the game out and just dropped it. Just that. dropped it? Okay. Yeah, let me take it. I'm sure. I'm to recycle it. There you go. Because Fine. he could have at least left it here instead of littering. Sure. Okay. No it. worries. I just wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm not sure what to do with that. Thank you for doing that. All right, guys, kind of a strange situation that we just ran into. Uh, I wanted to know from you guys, what would you have done? You go to a parking lot, you go to a store, and in the parking lot, you find games, or in our case, a DSi. Do, do you keep it? Do you bring it in? I really wasn't sure uh, what to do, but uh, we ended up bringing it in and, and it was fine. You know, she took it. I don't know what she's actually gonna do with it. She might bring it home, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but I wanted to know from you guys, what would you have done if you found video games in the parking lot? Tell me down below. Let's get back into it. Okay guys, we are getting into some cleaning and testing of all of this stuff from last week's episode. Uh, you guys remember we had $370 in value in everything that we picked up, but we did not know if things worked because this stuff is pretty junky. Uh, a lot of these consoles, like these two PlayStations, uh, all the Xboxes I did not give value to, um, the ones that were kind of broken or, or looked like they weren't going to work. So um, there's no value to those, but I am going to update you guys on how much everything is worth once we uh, test everything and clean everything. So let's start off with these two PS2s. I did not give any value to these because why would I look at these things? They're disgusting. Um, but we're going to we're going to test these before before I even try to clean them. Um, these in particular, I don't even think I'm going to I'm going to mess with just because they're so gross. But uh, you can sell uh, consoles that are not working. So what I'll do is basically bundle all the consoles that are too too far gone to even clean uh, and you know try to refurbish and put them all together and sell them together as a lot. So but I do want to test these just for fun because I mean, look at this thing. It is crazy gross. I, I I did not even think it would have the little standby button on, but that is that is on somehow. So I've not tested these. So let's give let's give this PlayStation a shot. Uh, there's not a game in here. Let's put in let's put in a PS2 game and see what happens. All right. Whoa! Thing's about to take off. That's way further than I thought we were going to get. It actually turns on, but it sounds like it's fighting to spin or something. Let's see if it's spinning. Okay, see, it's not even spinning. So, uh, Silver PlayStation 2, unfortunately, does not work. 
uh, or is completely functional. But that is kind of crazy that it turned on even that far. So, okay, let's try out this one now. All right, same one with this one. The standby button is on, which is pretty wild. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's just see if this one takes off like a helicopter. Uh, no, it actually did not. Let's see what happens. So this one's not spinning at all. It's not even trying to spin, as far as I know. Let's see if I can't get this back open again. So both of these PS2s do not work. They both power on, but they don't work. But again, we did not give these any kind of value. So we will just put these over in a junk pile and we will uh, get to the next console. All right, next up are these two black Xbox 360s. I think I gave a value of $50 for one of them, uh, just hoping that one of them worked. So here is the first one. Let's try it out. We got the Lego Movie video game that we will try. Let's see what happens. It's turning on. Uh, that sounds like it's about to explode. So that's not good. This actually sounds okay. And it is turning on. So right off the bat, we will have to get a new power uh, brick. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's on. Let's see if this opens. Hey, there's a game. Anarchy Reigns. So that is working. The Xbox itself seems to be okay. Let's see if we can't get to something. Okay, it looks like, it looks like this Xbox 360 is working. So I think, again, I gave a value of 50. And um, I don't know if that's good or not. I will adjust it if I need to. I'm always being pretty conservative with prices, um, but we will have to get a new power brick. So this is working. And we will test out the other Xbox 360 now. Okay, Xbox 360 number two. It is turning on. It doesn't look good, but it's turning on. It looks like this one is working as well. Same deal with the power brick. But we'll see if we can't get someplace with this. Okay, this one's working. Let's see if there is a bonus disc in here. No disc. We'll throw in Lego. The Lego movie. All right, work for us. Okay, uh, Xbox 360 number two is working. I did not expect this one to work. Did not give this one a value, but uh, I don't know. We'll throw on a couple extra dollars. So we were actually even better off than I thought uh, with our $370 investment. So. This is a good sign. On to the next consoles. I don't think I'm gonna check. I mean, we'll check those just to see if they power on, just because I think that'll be fun. Because I don't think there's any way that those are gonna power on. But we still gotta test the PS1, the uh, Super Nintendo, and I don't think those PS3s are gonna work. But so far we are in good shape. Okay, next up we have the Super Nintendo Junior. Kind of a harder console to get, or at least I don't see them very often, but this was kind of the saving grace of the lot if this thing works because they're valued at about 70 to to $100. Really muddy, but it, it appears to have good bones. So let's hope this guy works. And... Oh, yes. Yes, it works. It works. Thank the Lord that this is working. So... Um, we will get to keep, I think, I think we value this at, at 70. So that is amazing. We don't have this either. I will have to think through if we're going to keep this or our original Super Nintendo in the $10 game collection or just keep both. I, I'm not sure, but that is awesome that this is working on to the next console. All right, guys, next up is this blue teal Game Boy Color. Uh, we do not have one of these yet in the collection. We have two of the kiwi greens, and then we also have the yellow one. Um, and it is rough, really rough. 
I did not give a value to this either, I don't think, in the previous video. A lot of these consoles that just looked really rough, I was like, I'm just not gonna give a value. And if they do work, then it is a bonus. So, got two batteries in this and Donkey Kong Land in there. And I have I have a plan for this if it does work. Uh, and I will tell you here in a minute. But first, we gotta see if it works, so. It powered on. I don't hear anything. But it is working. Let's see if it's just... I don't think the sound is working, which tends to be a pretty common problem with these. I think one of our other Game Boy Colors, the sound isn't working, um, but it is working. The actual the actual Game Boy Color is working, which is good. So here is my game plan with this. My OCD in me wants to clean this. The problem is it's pretty rough. It's got like a burn mark there. I'm not gonna be able to do anything about that. It even if I scrub this thing like crazy, it probably wouldn't look very good. Like there's a burn mark there. So here's the thing. A couple of you guys told me in the comments that you can get a shell for these nowadays for like $12 free shipping. So I think I'm gonna end up just doing that. I've never done that before, but I thought it would make for a good video also to uh, just test the waters and try, try reshelling a Game Boy Color, uh, especially if it's only $12. So the unit itself is working, will work on the, um, the sound, but if we can get a shell for $12, I think that's just gonna be worth it to do that. And even if I did my very best, this still wouldn't look very good. So uh, cool that this works as well, another bonus. Next up, we have an original PS1. Again, no value was given to this um, because it just was too rough and looked, looked like it wasn't gonna work, but um, I do know it won't fully function even if it does power on because it's missing like that little spindle part where the disc attaches onto. So um, I still wanna see if it powers up. Let's see what we get. Oh, it sounded, sounds like it's dying, but, but it did, it did power on. Pretty nostalgic right there. Uh, and that's that screen right there screams the 90s to me. But um, okay, so what's good about these powering on is I can put them all like on Facebook Marketplace and now I can actually um, title it or put it in, in the description that all consoles are for parts, uh, you know, project consoles, they all do power on. So that is good. They're not dead, like completely dead. They actually do. They actually do turn on so that is a plus again we are still we're still doing good because we didn't give any any monetary value to any of this stuff so this is all just bonus stuff that we will put together and sell as junk consoles all right i'll just quickly show this this ps3 uh is dead does not power on i've tried it multiple times and i'm not getting anything and that's to be expected so ps3 is dead Next up are these two original Xbox 360 consoles. Look at this. I mean, have you ever in your life seen anything like that? Uh, over here, it's like rusted out. Um, again, I'm just I'm just checking these to see if they turn on. There's no way I could ever um, feel good about selling these to somebody, even if they worked and I cleaned them up. There's just no way uh, I would feel good about selling these to people as a working console. So these are gonna be four parts. Again, I'm gonna bundle it with the other consoles over there that don't work, but they do power on. If it powers on, if they don't power on, I'll probably just throw them away. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's working. No way. That is crazy that that still works. I mean, I have consoles that look brand new and they don't power on. Nuts, dude. Would you guys have ever thought that these would have worked? Okay, that's crazy. Let's see if there's a disc. Disc? Uh-oh. There we go. Hey, we got Forza 2 Motorsport. So that's a bonus. I'll take that out and do something with that. Um, but this will get, again, be just for, uh, for parts and I'll throw it uh, over there with those other consoles that do power on because they do work they do work and somebody can figure out something to, to, to do with them i'm sure but i am not going to mess with it so now let's uh, try out this one all right so i'm an idiot you guys probably saw this uh whenever i was showing you both of these consoles i can't even test this one because it doesn't even have a power button so this thing is completely 
trashed. I am going to probably take this outside and break this open just to see if there's a game in there. I don't want there to be potentially a game in there and me miss out on that. So uh, this will go, this one will go over here in the consoles that power on, but are for parts. And then this will go with the other PS3 that I'll just trash. Uh, but I do want to see if there is a disc in there. I, I mean, I guess I want to see if there's a disc in that PS3 also, but uh, bummer on that. All right, guys, we have weeded out the bad consoles, and here is the good stuff. The actual stuff that worked in uh, the game lot. So we have some cleaning to do. Nothing crazy. Uh, I think this is just mud, to be honest. It looks like it's going to come off fairly easy, but uh, I think we did good. Again, we're going to go through a whole uh, total value of everything, but I mean, you're talking right here, you know, 25 to 30 on those. So almost 80 there. And then the network adapter, you're looking at almost 100. This was 70, you'd say 30 each on the Xbox 360s. So we're already looking, we're already looking pretty good. We're over 200, 2, 230, and then we have all those games there as well. So um, I think we did okay, but let's clean up some of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to time lapse some of this, but I will just show you first off the Super Nintendo. I think this is going to clean up fairly easy. So all I'll do is spray this down a touch and let's see what let's see what comes off with just a paper towel it looks like it's coming off really easy so i think it's just some sort of mud or something oh. so let me uh time lapse this and we'll get the end result of the super nintendo All right, guys, there is the Super Nintendo. It looks pretty clean. I would say that this is collection worthy. Pretty awesome to add this. So let's get after these two Xboxes and the rest of the stuff. Okay, so all of the games and the consoles that we were going to clean are all cleaned up and everything turned out pretty nice it just was pretty dirty that's all that was on this stuff was dirt for some reason so all of this is cleaned i'm going to test these games and also i'm going to work on some of these uh, accessories that we have over here to the right because um, there's money in those as well so i'm going to test all these games and we should be nearing the end to get us a grand total of what everything is worth let's do it all right, guys, after weeding out all the bad consoles, cleaning everything and testing everything, this is what is working and what is not working. So two Xbox 360s, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color, uh, network adapter, and then all of these games. So this game, this stack of games, this stack of games, and then all of the Game Boy games are working. What games are not working? Only these four. And two of them worked for a little bit and then they ended up turning off. So Sniper Elite just trashed. Star Wars 3 trashed. This could probably work if you got it resurfaced. I don't know if I'm going to mess with it. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes. This one is trashed as well, I believe. Yeah, it's just deep scratches on that. And then Shadowrun, which isn't a super valuable game but just really deep scratches. So maybe we'll get a couple of these resurfaced. I don't know if it's even worth it, but that that's pretty good. Only four games and we actually even had, we have two copies of Marvel superheroes. I don't know why there's two in there, but that, that was actually a pretty good sign that only four games um, did not work. So pretty good news. I'm gonna go through everything, even all these accessories and we'll go to an end recap for a total value of the $100 uh, game lot that we got uh, last week. Okay, so everything has been tested, everything has been cleaned of the big $100 lot of games that we got last week, the game consoles and the games, and we estimated a, a potential value of $370, providing everything worked that we actually gave value to. So everything did work except for four games, 
but those four games were really valued at only about 20 bucks. So you take 20 off of 370 and you have 350, but uh, that Xbox 360 that I did not think was gonna work actually worked. So let's add another 20 bucks back on. So now we're back to 370 and we found a, a bunch of accessories and cords that I did not know uh, were in the lot in that box. There was a PSP, power supply, charger, the multiple HDMI cords and some other some other cables. So just say conservatively 15 or more, 15 to 20 bucks more. So I would say overall potential value is anywhere from 380 to 400 and we only spent $100. Was it a lot of work? Of course. Would I have done it again? I think I probably would have just because that Super Nintendo Junior was in there and those Pokemon games that kind of saved the deal. Um, so I think I probably would have done it again if those games wouldn't have been in there. Probably not. I know most people probably would not have pulled the trigger on this deal, but we did and we're going to add some great games to the collection and um, some, some more fun. So I thought it was a great week, guys. As always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would, like the video. It helps so much for other people to see this kind of content. Also, subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace.